Well, what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. She got most of her unit killed on Torfin. She gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is actually the first mission, or the first, you know, part to my Mass Effect series, and I hope that you really enjoy this. I'm looking forward to it. Um, the Mass Effect, you can choose what to say. Uh, this is really all I'm going to say right now in this intro. I just wanted to thank you guys for tuning into my video, and if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe, and like, and leave a comment, and let's go ahead and get this done. Now, um... I just want to take just one second, actually, before I start. Uh, normally, the top uh, decision, like dialogue decision, is Paragon or good, and the bottom is Renegade or bad, and then normally this is the neutral. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to this. I'm not going to talk until the next action sequence, so let's go ahead and get started. And they don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. Okay, so I got some Paragon points. I told you 
I just saw him. He marched by like he was on a mission. I'll take just a second to kind of describe the way I'm going to play my game. Um, it's going to be longer videos. <laughs> if I can figure out where to go. It's going to be longer videos. And, um, I'll cut out any sequences that are just kind of filler. A lot of them are driving the Mako, and the Mako is kind of a pain in the ass. Just, actually, honestly, I want to say that the Mako is probably one of the number one reasons why I didn't start replaying the trilogy in the first place, so I'm gonna definitely cut out all the parts of the Mako missions that I don't need to put in. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I'm a Marine, not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. 
There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 mm -hmm. status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Okay, we've made it to Eden Prime. I have to just remember... Oh, All the controls. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. Okay, so these are your weapons. Untrained. If it says I'm untrained, it means that I can't use it very well. And the reticle will bounce everywhere. Got the powers here. Oh, I keep trying to use that. Okay. Just wanna gas tanks. Don't worry. Gross.
My femship keeps looking like she's <clears throat> pissed off. Okay, I might have to change the sensitivity. I think we're good, Commander. It smells like smoke and death. Okay, what happened to Jenkins? Rip right through his shields. They're out of chance. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. That's right, Caden. <laughs> okay, we have a couple of upgrades. Okay, so I just updated my points and put them in Intimidate and Pistols and then for Caden I put it in his uh, First Aid and Sentinel. Now the journal tells us what mission we're on and the assignments. And the Codex is basically like an encyclopedia. Now in case you guys are wondering if you didn't know, uh, it's actually Seth Green that voices Joker. Let me show you how the special items are used with, if I can remember how <laughs> to use that overload. Now it also has uh, the information on each. Now these guys don't have shields, they're just little guys. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Take out those hostiles! I'm trying to remember how to take. Oh, I did not want to use Metagel. Oops. Now, there are crates all around the environment that have different upgrades in them, so I just want to keep an eye out for them. But I don't want to spend too much time trying to find them. HL. At least I have that now. Shooting those guys doesn't get you any experience. Like, this game doesn't run on experience points. As in like, kill per kill experience. These are Geth Troopers. They have shields and use them. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? I need a status report, now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. You just left the rest of your unit behind to die? 
We held our position as long as we could. The Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Move out! I don't have anything else to ask Ashley right now. I got myself some more renegade points. <laughs> Okay, so I just did a couple upgrades. I will show you those a little bit later. And I also changed Shepard's armor as well. I do like how it just told me how to do this, though. He's dead? Okay, so I just- it feels like I automatically just lock on to- <laughs> Look at that bullet. It looks like I just automatically lock on to cover. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Let's get moving. Williams, where's the camp? It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. I thought my game was gonna bug out there for a second. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh god, they're still alive! What did the Geth do to them? I also have to watch out because I don't have ammo, but I do have, uh, like, it overheats. Oh, the weapon will overheat. Like it's a locker or a pickup. Well, I see it, but it's, it's probably this over here. Okay, well, before I go over, I am going to do another upgrade for our points. And here I will show you where I've allocated points. Um, so here... Okay. 
speed. No, unlock that. I'm gonna keep my pistol upgraded as much as I can. Caden, we're going to put it on throw and barrier. And Ashley, we'll put those on soldier. Oh no, it just increases her health. We'll do assault training and her assault rifle. We'll go ahead and get back out. <laughs> More pickups. That door is closed. Security mark engaged. I'm trying to figure out what this is. Let's look on the map. A point of interest. I'm guessing that it's just where we wanted to come to up here. Oh, I forgot. It's, um, button matching, I believe. Humans! Thank the Maker! Hurry! Close the door! Before they come back! How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No, I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. <laughs> oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. It was only a matter of time till he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? Miraculous new technologies? Groundbreaking medical advances? The possibilities are endless. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Poor Manuel. <laughs> He had it coming. Oh, an upgrade kit. Saren. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. 
I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. Stay tuned to see what happens to what Theron and Nihilus. Nihilus. Shit! Look at the size of it. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Okay, guys, stay tuned.